Good day, my little teacups. Would you like to join me on another adventure? Firstly, quick explanation. Um, I'm aware I once upon a time said that this series was going to leapfrog with Frambo. However, I've recently received some different information. I'm not that far from the end of the game now. So this makes a bit more sense if I just focus fire cat lady until it's done. And that saves us having another year-long series or anything stupid like that. So, we are going to try and get this done. For once, I'm probably going to be eating while recording. I'll try not to make disgusting noises. Staircase! Where the fuck are we going? Um, are we all on the ground? We're on the ground floor. Oh, no, we're on the first floor. I thought we were on the ground floor. Okay. Hello. The dog. The dog lady? My arch nemesis. Talk to. Hello. You live on the first floor, am I right? Yes, that's correct. Flat two. And you're Susan Ashworth, I presume. I've been meaning to talk to you, actually. Really? Uh, Is okay. something wrong? Well, it's those cats. I understand you're trying to do a good thing, but it's become unbearable lately. I know, they it ate a guy. It's sanitary for people living here. And I'm sure it's not allowed by the council either. Are the cats bothering you? Are the cats bothering you? Yes, they are, actually. They usually stay outside anyway. I bet you hardly ever see them. I see them all the time, actually. Ever since the Morrisons from Flat One moved out last month, your cats seem to reside permanently on my floor. And that what? sofa, my god. They're always gathered round it like it's their shrine. It was Morrison's uh -huh. responsibility to dispose of it, but they just left it there. And a whole load of other rubbish, too. Okay, that's not my fault, yeah. really, is it? But you encourage cats to come here. You feed them. Everyone knows that. Every time I take William for a walk, he gets upset and tries to chase them away. Yeah, um... The cats I summon come from, like, buildings away. I don't have anything to do with resident cats. Did you say they sleep on the old sofa? Did you say they sleep on the old sofa? I didn't say they sleep. Have you not listened to me? I'm beginning to wonder if they ever sleep, actually. They just keep climbing up and down the wretched thing. They're noisy. They leave germs all over the place. They've scratched upholstery and the paintwork. And William keeps chasing them. He's so quick, I can't help him most of the time. What if he runs off and gets lost? I'm telling you, we've never had such problems before you decided to bring here these homeless devils. But you'd still have the problems, even if I wasn't here, because nobody has gotten rid of the sofa and thus the cats. Okay, there are more, but they then seem to fuck off back to the buildings they came from. Um... William, I'm assuming, is the dog. I have to go now. I have to go now. See you later. Biatch. And that, I can call you that because you're the dog lady. The lady dog. Which means you are unequivocally a bitch. I could push that cabinet out of the way, but I don't really want to be seen. If only we could get rid of this old witch somehow. Huh. Flowers. Oh, smell. I hate that. Whoa, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push it. Don't worry, Mrs. A. Could have happened to anyone. I'll clean it in a minute. But please, be more careful in the future, yes? I don't know. I, I... You be more careful. Nosy old witch. <laughs> I don't understand what I- Broken vase, take piece of glass. Well, yeah, adventure game logic, hell death. Um, uh, mailbox. Communal mailbox. 
Open. No mail for Susan Ashworth. Surprise, surprise, the other compartments are all locked. I'm probably gonna find a key then. This guy is hiding here in this house. There's no reason to go outside. Fine, okay. Far be it from me to look for extra clues, Scooby-Doo's. Scuttle, 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 scuttle. What floor do I live on then? Because this is definitely not my floor. There's the old sofa. Sofa. Examine. The cats seem attracted to it, but why? It's just an old sofa. The Morrisons left it here when they moved out. There are some stitches on it, and they look fresh. Has it been mended recently? There's also a note. Read. From flat one. We apologize for clottering the hall. The removal company has been called, and they will collect the sofa and chairs soon. Wait, wait, I missed that bit. We're sorry for the inconvenience, but we're sure you can put up with a few items a bit longer, just like we'd put up with your dog for all these years, Morrison's. Have they left it here forever? To annoy dog lady. <laughs> My god, this place is just a nest of vipers, isn't it? What happens if I use the glass on the sofa? Cut open the stitched area. And maybe see if there's anything inside that they're after. Hey, look at this. Valerian root extract. Cats love it. It has the same effect on them as catnip. They go absolutely <laughs> crazy for it. You found it inside that sofa? Yes. I wonder how it got there. I Maybe the Morrisons wonder. wanted to leave a goodbye gift for that woman and her dog? Yes. Well, they would. I always thought they were reasonable people. Oh, what a shame they moved out. <laughs> Bloody hell, Morrison. You gorgeous people. That's the evilest thing I can imagine. It's locked. Bugger! Nope, nope. Wait, mi wait, wait, oh, wait. Mitzi can lockpick, can't she? Would you like to try your famous lockpicking skills on this lock here? Let's see. Mm hmm. A young child could open this lock with a piece of wire. That's fantastic. Have you done it yet? No. I can't work when you're looking over my shoulder. Oh, sorry. Do you mind? No, sure. I'll just walk away for a minute and stare at the wall if that's what it takes to get this done. Thanks. Who are you, Wheatley? What? This place looks like the gates of fucking hell. Spanner, take it. Now we can screw everything up. Why are there holes in everything? Look at. This hole must have been made quite recently. It's Joe Davis's flat up there. What is he thinking digging holes in the floor? Right on the edge, there's some black, shiny object. I can't quite tell what it is from here. It looks like some kind of statue. Reach. There's no way I can reach it. It's too high. If that table was on the right wasn't damaged so badly, I could probably stand on it. But it's all rotten. It'd probably just fall. I have to find another way. Hmm. Table. Examine. It's rotten through. Bugger! Window! Look at! I'm gonna just look at everything! This is sunny side of the building. My side is always covered in dark, or so it seems. Why do they keep putting opening doors in? Clearly, this place is empty. I reckon we can cross it off the list. Okay. Press any button to close. Flat one is empty. This is a. What does depression feel like? What? Well. It feels like all I want is to die, but I have to live. That's funny. Most of the time I feel like I want to live, but I have to die. Ooh. Just an ordinary electric socket. Okay. Mitty, I am very sorry. But don't worry, I'm immortal.
Maybe I can share some of my super blood with you or something. I'm determined for this game to have a positive ending, damn it. Can I spanner the radiator? Can't use that here. Damn it! Okay, well, we know what to face is down. St Ooh. Wait, listen. And we need her to move. Mitzi! Could you let the dog out? Bad idea, there's a dog inside. I hate dogs. What if I put the Valerian... What, no, no. What if I put the Valerian extract there? Cats would hang around this spot for weeks. Okay. Move up and go then. The hell? These stairs sound differently than the other ones. There's some weird ass stairs. Who's... What, map, map. Wait, check the map. Ah, uh, right. Joe and what's her face, Davis. Listen. I think I heard something. Yeah, it sounded like a flush, judging by the sound design. It's probably just my imagination. Okay. Knock. I guess they're not in. That's great. I never liked them much. You thought you heard something. Open. It's locked. Of course it is. Okay. I'm gonna go up a floor. I come- I'll come back to you. But there's- I think there's something moving in there. Meanwhile, bicycle? No! Why do you do this? Must resist urge to sing queen! Okay, since Brian doesn't own a car, every day he rides this bicycle to get to work. It's not just his pride and joy, but also his only means of transportation. I bet he'd be gutted if something happened to it, and I have a spanner! I can't use it here. What am I supposed to use this- Crank? What? How funny would be- There. had a bubble in my throat. How funny would that be if his- If the crank went missing? He probably wouldn't even notice until the very last minute. When he's all ready to leave for work, with no time to spare. Uh, it can't be done by hand. Oh, I used the spanner on this one! Great! That'll teach you not to mess with the cat lady. <laughs> oh yes, yes, definitely, Susan. Spirit of bloody vengeance you are, through small annoyances. <laughs> this is almost- This- this is- This is- an almost unheard of level of petty, honey. It's been hung out to dry a long time ago. Borrow. I'm just stealing everything at this point. What are you? Who lives here? Hang on. Uh-huh. An old man. Old man, hello? I think I heard someone cough. He's home all right, so can't go in there yet unless we want to knock, but I don't want to do that just yet. I don't know what adventure game logic we've got left to go. Let's have a listen to you. I can hear someone walking inside. Brian's definitely in. Right. I don't know what time it is, but I'm going to take a wild guess and say that probably Brian will leave eventually. Cable. Examine. Cables are hanging loose. I don't think that's very safe. The electric meter. Electric meter for both flats. Switch off. Okay. Door. Who lives here, though? Oh! Okay, a baby is crying on the floor, and there's weird gun noises from this one. Listen. What? I knew it! Ooh, that was an intro is what that was. Hi, everybody! I bloody knew it! Welcome back! He's a bloody Let's Player! That's why there's all guns noises and crap. But that could be hiding something. Hang on. So there's clearly someone in there. They're not gonna hear us knocking, I don't think. But we could turn off their electrics. What if I pull these cables? 
If I could pull them out, I'd cut off the electric for both flats. Unfortunately, they're too firmly attached to the meter. But what if I cranked them? I can't do anything here with the crank. Damn it! Um, pram. Hello. Just, just looking at it is painful. I'm very sorry. What if we crank the pram? No? Okay. What if we rag the pram? I'm sure I can find a better place for that. Yeah. Give a knock to the baby one. What's wrong? I... I really don't feel that comfortable around babies, you know? Oh, fuck, Susan, I'm yeah. sorry. I can imagine. I talked to her, but I'm not quite sure how to approach this. I'm hardly an expert on babies myself. If only we had some good reason to talk to this woman. What do you mean? Something like... I don't know. Something to talk about. We can't just knock on a door and talk about the weather. That's a good point. That's a very Let's good point. Let's go somewhere else then. We can always come back here later. Ah. Alright. So, okay, so the game will stop me if I'm knocking on the wrong door. That's good to know. Okay, knock on this one then. He won't hear me. That's obvious. Or she won't hear me. I God, I hear the door open in the sound design and I think something's going to happen. Why won't he answer the door? Is he deaf? No! He's just playing video get. Can we lock can we lock pick his door? Are we breaking in? Bad idea, Mrs. A. Rule number 1. Never break in when the owner's home. I see. So, there's a whole rule book for amateur burglars? No. Just two rules, really. <laughs> What's rule number two? Never take cynical cat ladies on a job with you. They will put your every action into question, make fun of you, and eventually put you at risk of getting caught. Bloody hell, Mitzi. Should I go home? No, please don't. I can't do this without you. That's better. Mitzi, you are freaking adorable. Um, fine. Okay, so the game is definitely going to stop me breaking into any flat that's got a person in it. Whoops, I've gone to the first floor. Wrong floor! It's here. Lock Can you unlock this door for us? Let's see. Blimey. You don't see these very often. What? This is a very special lock. It would take someone much more skilled than me to open it. Great. I thought you were an expert. I am. But this lock is just... beyond me. Why would anyone need one of these here? They must have something to hide. This is an ordinary flat! Is there any other way we can get inside, then? Well, not unless we can find some plastic explosives or a pneumatic drill. Or a key. <laughs> yeah, because I'm sure there's a key lying around here somewhere. You have not played adventure what games! What say, my friend? Let's try to think positive. What if I crank it? Would you like to talk to him? Sure. I'll pretend I'm doing one of those customer surveys. Old people usually have time to answer lots of stupid questions. They just want some attention, Mitzi. <laughs> wow, Mitzi. Hello there, sir. If you could spare us just a few minutes of your time, we'd like to ask some questions about your internet service provider. I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Whoa! Oh. But we're not trying to sell anything. It's just a little survey. What? Wait a second. I, I can't hear what you're saying, sweetie. Let me get my hearing aid. Do you think he'll be back with a shotgun? No! He's not don't a parasite. Say. This isn't America. What? <laughs> You said it, honey, not me! I thought I heard someone. What did you want? Do you live alone? Do you live alone? Wait, I'm controlling Mitzi! you a man like me, you end up watching all your friends and family die. I'll be 85 this year, but I can still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning, all by myself. So... You do live alone, then? Look, young lady... I don't need any help. I've told them already. I can manage just fine. I can still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning all by myself. 
and not that it's any of your business, but when I die, I'll die in my own home, in my own bed. I'm honestly not trying to take that away from you. We're just here to ask about... I will not have anyone washing me, or, or dressing me, or feeding me. I can manage. I've done it all my life, and it'll stay this way. Shit. I can still cook my bed, and, and I make my dinner every morning, all by myself. Fuck. Sorry. Okay. That's just bring that- sorry, that- that's just hitting a little close. Okay. I didn't mean to pry. Please accept my apology, sir. I didn't mean to pry. Please accept my apology. No, no, no. It's, it's me who should be sorry. I haven't even offered you ladies a cup of tea. That's fine. Aww. Don't worry about it. Mary always liked her tea milky. She put the tea bag in the milk in first, and, and then finally she'd add hot water. I kept telling her it's the wrong way, yep, th yes. but she never listened. She was always so stubborn, my Mary. I miss her every day. Oh. I'm sorry for your loss. Mitch, this is the weirdest internet survey ever. I can't even exit this conversation. Okay, do you own a computer connected to the internet? Do you own a computer connected to the internet? Say again. Right. Okay. Do you- I can't hear you very well, dear. You'll have to speak up. I'm an old man, you know. I'll be 85 this year. You did perfectly well earlier. Don't- Oh, no. Don't mistakenly shout at him, Mitzi. I'm gonna press the button and hope for the best. Do you have a computer? There's no need to shout. I've got my hearing aids. I can hear what you're saying. Sorry. A young, pretty lady like yourself wouldn't understand about old age. We live in two different worlds, dear. And if you're here to make fun of me, why won't you just go ahead and be done with it? Why am I- No, no. Why with all it? respect, I- I just wanted to ask if you by any chance own a computer. Pardon? A computer! Wait a second, dear. I think I need to change the batteries in my hearing aid. I must have forgotten to switch them off last night. I'll be right back. No, wait! Jesus. I don't think I've got enough patience for this, Mrs. A. Well, you're gonna have to. To be honest, the chances that he's our guy are pretty slim. I think we should go. Yeah, this is pointless. Even if he did have a computer, he probably wouldn't even remember how to switch it on. Let's say goodbye quickly and try to look elsewhere. Can I help you? Not really. We were just going. What? I don't want to buy anything. I told you before, I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. We'll go now. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. We'll go now. I'll see you later, ladies. Next time I'll do the talking, yeah? He's tough. Wouldn't answer a single question. But he can't possibly be an internet whiz. Yep, he's just a lonely old man. Let's cross him off the list. Okay, sorry about that. Like I said, some of that was, um, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Where am I going? Oh, fucking Brian. I don't want to talk to bloody Brian. We could turn off the electric meter, but then he'll just turn it back on again. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Get over here, get over here. It's just a trip to use, don't worry. I'll just flip this switch, and we're back on. Jesse, can we talk to you for a second? Sure, sure, but not right now. I'm right in the middle of something. Interesting. Balls.
give the valerian extract to the lady? To sort of prove that the cats aren't going to be a trouble anymore? Valerian extract on lady. Pour on rag. Excuse me? Okay, valerian scented rag. What the hell are we doing with this? Storage place for cleaning products, vases, and junk mail. Those who lived in this house as long as me, well, there's actually a door to the basement behind it. No one goes down there anymore, it's not safe apparently. Right. Okay. Oh wait, the rag on the radiator? Come on guys, the party moved over here. Oh, that was way, way simpler than it should have been. Sorry! Where are they? Mrs. A! What? Well, aren't they quick? Mystical teleporting this dog cats! dog is making quite a racket. Someone should complain to the owner, don't you think? Definitely. She should put that broom down for a minute and sort her dog out. Oh, you delightfully evil women. Yo, lady! Your dog is making a horrible noise. Can't you do something? Your dog is making horrible noise. Can't you do something? It's probably because your wretched cat's upset him again. Poor William. I'd better check on him. Yes. That's right. Bye bye, lady. Are you sure the cat'll be all right? Please, these cats can easily outrun some old mutt. I mean, I'm a dog person and a cat person myself, but goddamn, you can't beat Susan Ashworth's super cats. Take the broom. Give her nothing to come back to. Right now, she might not be there, be out all that long. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this. Push it. I'm going to push this cabinet out of the way. I remember there was a door behind it. It's too heavy. I don't think that's gonna work. Are you kidding me? I'll show you how it's done. Stand back. Hell yeah! Boom, baby. There. The door everyone's forgotten about. Wow. You're stronger than you look, Mrs. A. Yeah, perhaps I am. Comes with the territory of being a spirit of goddamn badassery. It's not her. I didn't find anything. No computers, no laptops, no telephone line. Bloody hell. Okay, I'm not really surprised, are you? At least we can now cross her off the list. To be honest, I had it down as the dog. I thought the dog was going to be the bad guy. Let's go. But there might be useful shit. There might, there might be useful things we could then combine with other thi- Never mind. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute. What, what about the d in the dead flat? Using the broom on the statue. Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. I'll try to catch that thing for you, all right? Aha! It's a statue of a cat. How nice. So there's another wacko obsessed with cats in this house. <laughs> Lovely. I suppose so. Also, how did we lose the broom? And, the, and also that for the spanner earlier. Seriously? Mitz, what am I doing? So, what next? Maybe we can find some clues in the mail? There's a mailbox in the hall. Sorry, were we just having this conversation like a pair of spies for a moment there? It's like, I'm going to stand next to you and try and talk to you, but nobody should see that I'm talking to you. Blofeld might find us. Can you pick mailbox locks, Mitzi? Do you think Mitzi? we can unlock this mailbox? I think I can most certainly unlock this mailbox. Then do it quickly. Someone can come in any minute. A 
little room with a master locksmith. Really? Could you step away towards the stairs and turn around? Please? Master criminal, if anything. Done. Here's all the mail. Hide it in your pockets and let's get out of here. It was mostly junk mail and leaflets. I threw those away. I'm sorry. But I have to. Master criminal, you can't even unlock bloody Joe's flat! Thank you very much for watching, audience. I have been the over-Englishman. Please take a moment to peruse the end card at your leisure. We have a video, a video, a link to the channel, and a link to a channel that I think you might like. Until then, I will see you in the next video. Love you all, and farewell! <laughs>